Foo Fighters would announce Friday night that longtime drummer Taylor Hawkins had passed away at the age of 50 ahead of a gig in Columbia. It's come out over the past several days that he had 10 substances in his system at the time of his death, at least according to the preliminary toxicology reports, and that his heart was double the size of a normal man, weighing in around 600 grams. Foo Fighters have since returned to the United States, and the band's future is still up in the air. And tributes have poured in across the rock world since the announcement, and Guns N' Roses guitar Slash, who just wrapped up a U.S. tour to support his latest record with Miles Kennedy and the Conspirators, called Four, took time during a recent show in Orlando to give his thoughts on Hawkins' passing and dedicate the song Starlight to the drummer. If you guys remember, Hawkins appeared on Slash's 2010 solo record, singing background vocals on the song Crucify the Dead, and Slash and the members of Guns N' Roses performed with Foo Fighters on stage in 2018 in Italy at a festival that both bands were performing at. Slash would also appear with Foo Fighters on stage in 2015. Here's Slash talking about Hawkins at his show in Orlando from a few days ago. Uh, yeah. I'm sure most of you are aware that we lost a really close friend of ours uh, last night. Uh, Taylor Hawkins, drummer, of course, in the And, uh, I mean, you know, he was one of the fucking, well, for, first and foremost, he was a great fucking guy, he was a fucking sweetheart, and he was a really good friend, kick ass drummer, a lot of fun to be around, and I'm completely crushed that we've lost him. So, uh, we wanted to do a song tonight dedicated to him, so we're gonna play something. We haven't played actually on this whole tour, but we're gonna do it tonight. Tributes have poured in from the members of Guns N' Roses with Axl Rose writing on Twitter, shocked and saddened to hear the passing of Taylor Hawkins. He was a really great guy, drummer and family man, was always great to see him, was looking forward to seeing him and everyone in Daytona, truly sad. My deepest condolences to his family, the Foo Fighters and their fans. While Slash would add devastated by the loss of our friend Taylor Hawkins, I have no words to express all the feelings I have about his passing, but my heart goes out to his family and his band and friends. And the Guns N' Roses social media pages also included some photos with Taylor hanging out backstage with the members of GNR. There's also been tributes from the other members, including Dove, Richard Fortas, and former member Matt Sorum. 